Hey all, this is Trevor, and I'm gonna be playing Crystallis for the Game Boy Color. I have never played this game before, but I've been told that this is a pretty good old action RPG adventure, so uh, let's get started. Got my name in, and kinda struggling with- there we go. Alright, so uh, I'm in a- I'm in some sort of hibernation chamber thing. This is a little weird considering what the opening cutscene taught us. See, the thing about this game is that it takes place in a dystopian future. Well, not dystopian, my bad. It's just a post-apocalyptic future in which, after the nuclear holocaust, human beings have gained magical powers, and use those magical powers to restore life to the world. But there's this one bad guy named Dragonia who uses magic and technology which is evil because evil even though apparently technology had been keeping me alive for a really long time anyway he uses technology and magic to advance his evil schemes of taking over the world i guess anywho these four guys try made swords of the basic elements of air water fire and thunder i think to try and stop him, to forge them into a sword called Crystallis, which is super awesome and is the game's namesake. He scattered them across the world, and now it's our job to go find them. And put them together so we can beat Dragonia for his evil techno heresy thing. One thing I notice about this game immediately is the sound design. It's just the... wow, that's a lot of treble clef. Really pounding it in. Lord of Wind. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and that early, uh, that early 16-bit sound design. Sword of Wind. So yeah, we got the Sword of Wind, which is the first of the swords that we need to forge into Crystallis. So now we're wandering around. And give him the sword a try. Whack, 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 whack. Okay. But yeah, the sound design in this game is really kind of weird because it really like there's a lot of staccato and there's a lot of like pounding the treble clef into your ear. It actually made the recording a little hard to make for me for the first time. Oh, and, uh, Tony the Tiger keeps trying to kill me. I'm not really sure what he's doing here. OW! Tony, why? I like your cereal, man, but you're a real jerk. Alright, so... I don't have a whole lot of- I didn't have a whole lot of input as to where to go, so, other than look for Zebu, the... The wind- I think he's the wind guy who made the wind sword? I'm not really sure, since I got the sword from another dude who wasn't really related to the four dudes who made the swords. Really like this cave music, though. I generally like cave music in these old 16-bit games, though. Okay. Oh yeah, this is about the point where I figured out that I can shoot, like, wind blasts from my sword, so we got kind of a Zelda vibe. Or at least, really old Zelda vibe. Come on. There we go. I now have an alarm flute. So, uh, what exactly does one do with an alarm flute? Well, I mean... What sort of alarm do you raise? Do you, uh, do you pull it when there's a fire? Ah, whatever. Anywho, yeah, the, the music in this cave is one of my... It, the sound design in this game is kind of hit or miss. Like, I, I'm not... I guess it sort of depends on how you feel about the... Lord of Wind thing, where you come to that, but... The heavy treble clef is kind of hard on the ears. Okay. Oh, something else that I really liked in this game is that you look when he faces forward, his feet actually get larger for the uh, kind of giving the illusion of depth. I actually really like that. It's pretty good art design there. 
Doop, 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 doop. All right, nobody's there. At this point, I was trying to, uh, I was trying to find all the little mobs in here and kill all of them to see if that unlocked anything, but, uh, it didn't. At least, not as far as I know. This game's a little sketchy on giving you input, but I guess that's just the way it goes with old games like this. Ow! Oh god, it's Tony's offspring! Alright, better traverse the, uh... Actually, I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. Is this a desert? Is just dirt? I don't know. There are trees. Big trees, and then there's little, like, bushes. And little blue globular ghosts. Ghostbular? Alright, so, I'm gonna wander around here. Oh, hello, guy. I am Xavier Star student. He instructed me to give you a hundred bucks. I... How generous of you. Alright, so, uh, hey, pawn shop lady, what do you do with an alarm flute? Come on, don't leave me hanging. What was this? Was it? Oh. So it's like an alarm clock. Gotcha. Alrighty. And I'm kind of wandering around. I had a hundred bucks to blow, but uh, I think I'm going to just use it to sleep. Uh, I'm going to use it to sleep! There we go. Got it. Got 113 bucks left over. Not bad. Alright, moving around. Ah, blue slime ghost thing. Hey, leveled up. Okay. Fire, wind, and dead cow. Okay, is this a desert or a forest? I'm, I'm... Is it a savanna? Is that why Tony the Tiger's lurking about? Look, dude, I'll buy your cereal. Just don't kill me. Jesus. Oh, God, there he is! Okay. Come on, come on. There we go. Ow. Oh, man. Blue Glob Ghost. Why? Alright. Alright, got rid of- uh, Oh, God, Tony! I'm just calling all of these guys Tony. They're all Tony. You know it. I know it. Oh god, he's back! These tiger things have a ludicrous respawn rate. Like the Scarlet Crusaders back in Vanilla Wow. Jesus. Alright. Where's the cave? Can I look up? Yeah, there's nothing here. Alright, going down here. Alright, this must be the windmill. Well, I got a wind sword. Maybe it'll do something. No. No. It's, it's not doing anything. Maybe if I do it to the outside. I mean, I got wind. It's got... No. No, it's not doing anything. Wait, maybe if I try... Okay, I'm gonna try and examine things. And hit them. Hitting things works, right? Or maybe this item has something to do with it. The dude back in town that I talked to said something about, uh, the windmill and then told me about the alarm flute, so I can only assume the two are related. Uh, wind! Wind! I give up. Fuck it. I'm gonna just head back. Yeah, this is what I mean about the whole treble clef thing. Ow! That puts a damper in my feet. Ow. Ah, blue glob ghost thing. Tony the Tiger! Why, Tony? Why? You are the pushiest cereal salesman. Let me just take your money. You'll get it back. I'll be back for your cocaine-coated cereal. Oh, different cave theme. Yeah, so far all the caves here have had a different music, which is a pretty nice touch. Let's see what we got in here. Boop -de boop -de boop -de boop -de boop -de boop boop Ah, I think that's not the ground, oh! It's a person. Oh, you're the dude that gave me a hundred bucks. Cool. Wait, what? Fallen under his spell. 
perform certain tasks. By completing these tasks, I will prove that I'm pure of heart. My first task is to fix the windmill. I was just there. Nothing happened. Also, these tasks that you're telling me will pu prove to me that I'm pure of heart. If I were under this, dr if I were under Dragonia's control, wouldn't I just do it anyway to build a false sense of security? Just saying, you guys really need to think this through. I mean, just giving me orders if I'm a thrall of evil, I I do your thing. Well, that or kill you. But if I'm going like deep undercover, there'd be no reason for me to reveal myself. I need to I do what you ask just to keep up the illusion. Bad Tony. I'm not really sure what those are. Just like what bushes? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure why they're that big of a clump. Yeah, okay, going back to uh, yeah. Then I go back out. Now going back to town. Whack. Whack. All right, you got anything new to say? No, you don't. Okay. Yeah, sometimes when you get quests in these RPGs, people will change what they say, but uh, I don't know. So I just have to keep backtracking and make. I don't know, this is what these sorts of games have done to me. I need to keep going back to make sure nobody's saying anything particularly new. Anyway, it's at this point that I kind of decide, you know what, I might as well check the windmill out again. After I got a quest for it, maybe something's different. Maybe it'll actually let me do something to it, because the way some of these games are programmed, they'll only let you do what you need to after setting everything in place okay that doesn't seem to be what happens here I'm examining things and nothing is happening all right well that was a colossal waste of time but I'm gonna hit it anyway yeah yeah nope that didn't work well I'm out of ideas Back of the cave I go, and up, see what's up, the, the, what, what's this dude doing here? He wasn't here before, where'd you come from? Thanks a lot. Okay. Well, uh, that was weird. Yeah, this is what I mean about that whole coding thing. Apparently, I'm not allowed to help that guy out, or he's not sleeping there until I get the quest. This is weird for a number of reasons. Oh, yeah, I kind of had- I was kind of struggling a little bit with the menu here because I thought you would just hit the menu option again to close it, but it turns out it means you're attempting to drop the item. Well, let's, uh... Alright, well, the windmill's working. I have proven I'm pure of heart. Or at least willing to play along with your game. What the? Okay, so that wall just blew up after I... What did activating the windmill have to do with blowing up that wall? Ah, forget it. Well, this seems like a good place to stop, so, uh, catch y'all later.